I'm on the hunt. Hey, y'all. You know what? I'm going to admit it. Yesterday, I was in a little bit of a funk. Oh, I love you, honey. Yesterday, I don't know. It was Monday. It was kind of nasty outside. And I don't know. And then my right groceries didn't arrive. Hey, hola, Jessica. ¿Cómo estás, amiga? And my chicken didn't come yesterday. So, you know, I was kind of in the funk. And the kids were kind of, you know, uh, it was just a day, you know. But today, hey, today I got my earrings on. Thank you, Becca, for the earrings. Um, but today I'm feeling good. I got my chicken. I got my ingredients. So we are going to get down in the kitchen today. I am making chicken pesto lasagna. And this is keto. So that's awesome. Um... So yeah, it's got chicken, it's got lots of cheesy goodness inside it. Hey, Lara, hola, amiga, como estas? Shout out to the teachers. Is it summer yet? I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, yes, I am uh, really excited for this recipe because I've been like eyeing it up. You know, one of those ones where you're eyeing it up, you're like, mm. I had pretty much most of the ingredients, but you know, meat has been a little bit difficult to come by sometimes when you order it, like we've been ordering our groceries online. Sometimes the meat doesn't come. So yesterday I was all hyped up and my chicken didn't come. So I got it today. Pick and save always comes through. I'm telling you, I love pick and save. Sorry, I'm going to just check on my meat here. So pick and save always comes through. And this is probably, you know, I just wanted to get this chicken done. I probably could have boiled it. I probably could have put it in my quick cooker, but I just threw it on the grill because I like a little bit more flavor in my chicken, you know? Sometimes I feel like when I boil it or when I pressure cook it, it just I just like the flavor that a grill gives. So we got the griddle on our stove 24 seven. We use it all the time. Uh, Pampered Chef's one, we don't have that one. Uh, it's on my list, but they have an amazing um, stove top griddle thing. So anyways, I got my uh, cheeses, lots of cheese in this recipe. I'm from Wisconsin and it's good for keto. So that's good. I got my pine nuts. Now, y'all, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This secret is passed down from my people, okay? From the motherland. And DeAndre tried this secret and I'm gonna share it with you. And I want you to only, you know, Tell people sparingly. I mean, this is like, I don't want you to tell everybody, okay? If they want to know, they can watch a video. But otherwise, you're going to know the secret of this ingredient. A lot of people don't know about it, but I'm going to share it to you, okay? You ready? Oh, let me plug my phone in. It's going to die. Oh, the suspense. Hold on. I'm going to just plug in. Okay, ready for the ingredient? Ready for this kitchen staple that is amazing? I love it, and if you've tried it before, you could probably give me um, your testimonial. It is, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. McCormick Mayonesa con limón, con jugo de limones. This mayonnaise will change your life. If you like mayo, it's not sweet. It has a little tang, like kick to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it is so good. And once DeAndre tasted it, and I don't know why, you know, I guess pretty much it's more widely available. I feel like years ago you couldn't find it because it's more of like a Mexican item. They sell it in Mexico, but now you can find it pretty much anywhere, like at Walmart. But we just started using it in the last year and a half or so, although I, it was always like for me, if I ever had it, it was like a super treat because I couldn't find it everywhere. So they now sell it at Walmart, and so we've been getting it. And when he tasted the first time, he was like so happy. Hey, Gia, girl, how you doing? Tell me, you know what's up? You know what's up with the mayonesa con limon? Let me know in the comments if you do, because this man is off the chain. There's not one better. Taste it if you don't believe me. If you do believe me, still go and taste it. It's the bomb, and it will like change your life. Not kidding, but yes, I am, because... This is really good stuff. Hey girl, yes Gia, right, ain't nothing better. You know, I used to love Hellman's, I mean I still, I got love for Hellman's and that's like my American favorite meal, but all time classic, 100% this limon, uh, jugo de limon, it just adds a little flavor to it and ain't nothing better. So this is my mayonnaise I'm gonna be using. So I need 
For this recipe, I'm making chicken parmesan lasagna. I better not burn my chicken. Hold up here, y'all. And I will be posting the recipe. I turn my chicken off. I'll be posting the recipe afterwards when the kids ain't bothering me. <laughs> Ooh, if y'all saw me yesterday, I had to delete that video live. Oh my goodness, my children were just needed their mommy yesterday. And we know how those days are. So I just said, you know, let me just put a pause on that. Hi, Janet. Welcome. What you know about this limon, uh, mayonnaise con limon? I know you do because you frequently travel to Mexico, so I know you know what's up with that. So, basic ingredients for this dish. I mean, really what I really had to buy, and I wish I could have made some from scratch. Hey, Leah. Hey, Deb. Is pesto. So, plans are to grow some basil in my or a little herb garden back there and then make my own. But for right now, we'll just do the jar, jar stuff. So when my blender comes from Pampered Chef, that is going to be on my list of things to make. So I have this, I have the mayo, I have the sour cream, and you know I love this garlic herb spice. It just goes with everything. I just love it. So I asked for some fresh basil from Pick and Save. Now they do come through 99.9% .9 of the time, and I am just like shocked out of my mouth because I like quote unquote protested pick and save for years because I felt like the prices were way too high but with everything going on they're the only ones coming through with my groceries uh, without missing a lot of stuff so but they sent me this powder basil I don't know or dried basil no let me smell let's see what it smells like okay all right I mean it's not bad no, it ain't what you think you think. It's not Colorado, y'all. Hola, Deb. What you know about the uh, mayonesa con limon? What you know about that, Deb? Let me know in the comments. So, what's the ingredients on here? Basil, oil, sea salt, and ascorbic acid. Okay. So, it's pretty much dry basil, but I got some... Woo, y'all. I was on Amazon. I found some planters. So I'm going to be planting some herbs, I think, in this window area. So, watch out for that. I got to spice it up a little bit in my kitchen. You know, I just got a little spruce it up here and there. I'm also going to be adding, although the recipe doesn't call for it, fresh garlic. Because you know, hey Leah, how you doing? We got your party going, girl. Make sure to get, join the uh, group and get your peeps in there. They're already going like crazy. Hey, Jean. Oh, Jean was there for my children having a meltdown yesterday. Jean, I had to delete that video, girl, because these kids was, woo. So I'm going to do some garlic in here, too, even though it doesn't call for that. Oh, it also calls for eggs, so I have to grab that. Now, I don't like, you know, I do like to cook, but when I cook, I want to make enough because I don't have to cook like every single meal. So I'm going to see how much chicken I come up with. If I come up with more chicken than I need, then I'll probably like do the recipe in half or like add a little bit more, you know, get a little creative. So I think my chicken is about done. So don't these chicken breasts look delicious? Hey, DeAndre, you peeping out what's for lunch? <laughs> All right, let me see here. Let me move this over here. I just want to make sure it's done. I got that thermometer on my list. There's so many things I want to get from Pampered Chef, you guys. Okay, that's done. These were some pretty big chicken breasts. I had to like butterfly cut them and everything. I just want to make sure they're done. Okay. So Leah, do you know, um, pop quiz, Leah, which tool, hey Becca, which tool am I going to use to shred this meat up? Do you know? Comment below if you know. Okay, she's, hey Jen, Jennifer, how you doing? So I just grilled this chicken because I love grilled chicken, it's so good. So comment below if you know what tool I'm gonna use to uh, shred this chicken up. I'll give you a hint, I use it every single day, like 25 times a day. All right. All right, if you guessed the salad chopper, you are correct. I love this thing. So I'm just gonna, you know, put this in here and just chop up by me because it calls for shredded chicken. So again, you guys, I'm making this, um, this chicken lasagna with pesto. And I can't wait, y'all. 
So look how nicely that just shreds right on up. Salad chopper. Yes, Leah, you know it, girl. So I, the recipe calls for four cups. So I'm gonna, I just want to see where I get with that because if I got more chicken, we'll see. I might make a little bit more in this recipe. So I got a little extra basil. How many of you guys grow basil? Let me know if you grow basil. Because I love basil, but I feel like if you don't grow it, then it, like, if you don't use it all right away, it goes to waste. And then you're, like, stuck with spending, you know, I don't like wasting food. Um, so that's why I really want to get this herb garden going so that I can just take what I need, you know what I mean? And then it's always there. Because, you know, it's like sometimes I hesitate to make recipes that call for fresh herbs because you're like, okay, is it going to really be fresh or what? So the cell chopper just... Chops my chicken right up, you guys. Here, I'll show, see if you can see that. It's hard to do it with one hand lifted up in the sky, but you get the idea. So this is make it so easy to chop up this chicken, you guys. And these are huge chicken breasts. Um, funny story. You want to hear a story? Now, I feel like I'm talking to my students. When I teach, I tell them all these like juicy stories about me. They know too much about me. So when I was in grad school, which DeAndre, we gotta find my picture book. I can't find it anywhere. So when I was in grad school, I went to Africa, Malawi, Africa, um, for my thesis, and I wanted to travel abroad because I never got to study abroad. You know, I was a non-traditional student, blah, blah, blah. So for two weeks, I went to Malawi. I had a fabulous time. I got to meet lots of cool people, see lots of cool things, and eat lots of different foods. And most of it was delicious. The chicken breast, I will never forget. Sorry, I'm making a mess. I probably should have done this in a bowl. But um, I don't want to make too many dishes. <laughs> hey, Roman. So, you want a piece of chicken? It's hot, though, okay? Here, you want it? Oh, you did? You already got a piece? You snuck a piece, y'all. So when I was in Malawi, they had chicken breasts, and it was like a tenth of the size of our chicken breasts. You want a little piece, baby? Here. Mama's making lunch, okay? Another one. You want another one? Okay. Oh, Lord, Jesus, these kids, they be hungry. Here, I'll put some in this little bowl. I love my silicone prep bowls. They're so handy. There you go, babe. Blow on it. Eat it in the um, dining room, please. Anyways. So the chicken breasts were like super tiny. I know. I'm like, well, because you know what? Ours probably have a bunch of hormones in them and everything, but whatever. What are we going to do about that? But their chicken breast was so tiny and so skinny. And I was like, what is this? Is this a young chicken? What, what's going on? But that's how all the chicken was there. So a little global education for you. A little global uh, world travel sharing here. Um, yeah, girl, I'm global kitchen, y'all, because I'm talking about African chicken. I got my Mexican mayonnaise. What? What you want? What you want to do? Okay. <laughs> you guys can tell I'm feeling myself good. So this is about four cups of chicken. So I think I'll just leave the recipe. Maybe I'll add a little extra cheese because, you know, you can't hurt anything with a little extra cheese. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let me wipe up my little workspace. So look, if you guys can see, again, I just chopped all that up with my... Salad choppers, if you don't have one, you need to get yourself one. That's all I got to say. All right. Okay, people. So, I already have my oven preheated to 400. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is now... I think I do need a bowl. Let me get one. I like that. You like that chicken? Okay, honey. Don't eat all the chicken. I like it. I do feed my. So I'm going to use this. Yes, Jessica, girl. Africa was the bomb, girl. I'm telling you. So it was so much fun. It was very hot. It was very fun. All right, so now I'm going to add my other ingredients. I'm going to lack this as a childproof lock, so that's nice. Do y'all see? What do you see here? I got my awesome spatulas. This one came in my kit. No, I think these two came in my kit. And then I got this one as a reward for selling 500 in sales. So there are so many perks to being a Pampered Chef consultant. Now, I think I'm a senior consultant or something. But 
Did I put any spices? Yes, Jessica. All I put was, obviously, this is just generic, garlic salt. And then I just add for extra flavor. I love this garlic and herb rub. It's so, so, so good. I feel like it can't hurt anything ever in life. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put my mayonnaise in here. It's my Pampered Chef measuring cup. So I need, look, that just goes right in. I love it. So I need a cup and a half. Let me use this one. A cup and a half of mayo. This is gonna be a really rich dish. So you might want to serve it if you're not on keto with like noodles or rice or something on the side, veggies maybe. <laughs> um, me, myself, what did I think I was going to put on it? You know, I got some zucchini noodles, so I might just put that on the side just so it's not so heavy, you know. Um, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so this is my Pampered Chef measuring cup here. So I need a cup and a half of mayo. You guys can see I love the outside measuring. Mm-hmm. Yes. We're getting down on the kitchen today. And don't ask me for nothing else today. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Let me make sure. I don't want to put too much mayonnaise. All right. So there's that. And I love my spatulas. They're the bomb. All right. <clears throat> So I have that, put the cover on here. All right, the next thing I need is one cup of sour cream. These measuring cups, you guys, I've had them for 15 years, you know, and they still work and they're still good and they're solid and they're awesome and I love them. All right, so let me, shout out to these spatulas too because I've left them in spaghetti sauce already and they're not stained, so I'm happy about that. So I'm just gonna put the sour cream in here. One cup, bam, done. Okay. All right, now, you know what? I think a little extra sour cream never hurt anybody. I'm just gonna add a little more. Boop. Mayonnaise is a little heavy, but I love me some sour cream, you guys. Okay, now, DeAndre, are you busy? I need your Pinterest because I didn't write down what to do after the ingredients. <laughs> I can't look at my phone and do a live at the same time because my kids got my tablet. You know how that goes. Thank you, baby. All right, so I have this. Now, meanwhile, oh, I need two eggs. So I'm going to grab that. Okay, speaking of chicken, y'all, how many of you have chicken in your backyard? Chickens? Hens? I don't know how you say that. I've been considering it because, well, I can't. I'll just be honest. We can't. They don't let us where we live. However, I would consider it if our, if our uh, county let us have chickens. I mean, there's eggs there 24-7, you know what I'm saying? All right, so this is my garlic press. So if you can go to Pinterest, DeAndre, it's under our boards if you're logged in as Grant Images. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna just put some extra garlic. I know I didn't ask for it, but I'm gonna put it in there anyways because like I said, I like my stuff to have some flavor to it. And I love me some garlic. Oops, so I don't even have to peel these garlics, although I just dumped the uh, peel in here. It's chicken pesto uh, lasagna. So if you go to our Pinterest and go to boards and then go to um, keto, because this is a keto friendly meal. Hey, Marianne, did you get your catalog in the mail? I know. You know what? I think you can, Jessica. You should just double check, girl, because well, I like that. you like that. You want some more chicken? Lord Jesus, he's going to eat all my chicken. Hold on. Let me give you some more. We're feeding my friends. I know. Okay. Okay, that's now. That's a lot. Okay, that's, that's a, lot. a lot. That is. No, no, okay, let me get no. some more. Okay. No. I did. No, you go. A lot. I can't even. Okay, go. Go. No. No, I like it. Eat that first and no, then come no, back. More. You got. Hey, man. That's a lot of chicken. I might have to make this other girl chicken breast. He, like, seriously just ate a cup of my chicken. Okay. All right, let me get this other chicken breast going. You guys can see how I made it while DeAndre's bringing up the link. Oh, yeah. You can't say no to these kids. They're always hungry. But then 
guess what, y'all? He ain't gonna eat it when it's done. He's gonna be like, I'm not hungry. So, you know what? That's just life as a mom. Kids are on their own eating schedule, you know, if you ask me. Sometimes all the stars align and they, uh, call, um, pesto chicken lasagna. It should be under our board. It should be already linked there. So I'm just going to use my... Oh, yeah, go to the Grant Images one. It's on Grant Images. Yeah. All right, so here's my knife. I'm going to just butterfly this chicken. I don't even know how I'm doing this, you guys. I'm just, I just know it's going to take forever to cook. So that's why I do that. Because I'm telling you, the chicken breast in Africa was like... I'm not kidding, like an eighth of this size. It was like not anything like this. Oh, I'm going to pour a little garlic salt. Yay, Marianne! I'm glad you got your catalog. If you guys need a catalog, let me know. I'm happy to throw one in the mail for you. I got my brand new uh, mailing packages. They're super cute, so I'm happy to send one to you. Here, Deandra, I'll find it. So that is life. Is that it? Here, well, let me see. I got to look at the picture. Uh, keto. No. Keto. No, it's probably under this one. Cabbage lasagna. Where'd it go? Hold up. I'm going to find the recipe. It looks different on your phone than it does for me. I'm just looking for the recipe, although now I'm on pause because my son decided to eat all my chicken up before I was ready. Oh, yeah, just come and send you one, girl. Don't worry. Hold on. Chicken artichoke? No. When you wonder what I do at night, I do Pinterest at night. <laughs> Where the heck? I'm going to just have to go on my phone, you guys. I don't know what is going on. Let me just look here. Boards. Boards. Okay, now. So what are you guys making for lunch? Hey, Mom. How are you? How come I don't see anything? Is the Wi-Fi low? I don't know. I use this. Uh, Android use Apple. So. Yeah. My Android okay. is superior to that. Do you guys use Pinterest? If you do, I can share you my recipes. They're they're um, expertly curated. <laughs> oh Lord, look at this! Why Apple is better than Android? You just sent what to me, Jessica? The recipe? I come on, people. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my recipe. I had it. Oh, where's your tablet? Where's my tablet? It's probably, uh, it's in there and it's dead. Oh, hey, girl, did you find my recipe for me, girl? Oh, I was like, it's plugged up here. Oh, yeah, can you get my tablet and plug it in there? See, Androids are very slow. It's not even loading. Jessica, thank you for sending it to me, girl. Mwah. We're going to wait for this to load. That's what I have for <laughs> Yeah, his phone works perfect for him. Hey, thank you, Jessica. I appreciate it, girl. I'm waiting for it to grow. I'm going to split my chicken real quick. I'm telling you, if you guys don't have a cast iron griddle for your stove top, you are missing out on wonderful things in life. You could just throw things on there, you know, what? Uh, <laughs> girl, look at his phone. Nothing. I see it there. <laughs> well, it's not loading up. I can't help it. All right, so now that I got extra chicken, now I can add a little extra everything else. So I already got my extra sour cream. I got, oh, let me put a little extra mayo in here. We're just going to add a little pinch more than what the recipe calls for because that way, she just sent you a message on Pinterest. So that way, I got a little extra food to go a little extra mile. So, you know what? I used to, like, be careful to eat this mayonnaise because I was scared I wouldn't be able to get it for a long time. Keto cheesy pesto chicken casserole? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry, it's a casserole, you guys. I you said lasagna. I'm like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm dreaming of lasagna. 
Yes, Jessica, we do have Pampered Chef Iron Skillets, and they're 60% off for hostesses this month. So if you host a party this month, you get 60% off, so that's a great deal. All right, so, DeAndre, did you find it? Uh, yeah, I have it right here, but something else is stopping me. Okay, DeAndre's opening it on the Android. You know, we got to give the Android people a little extra time to process things. That is uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, we always have like the household battle of iPhone versus Android. Comment below, okay? Which one do you prefer, iPhone or Android? Let me know. Post it in the comments. So, let me know, y'all. Now, let me tell you, um, where is my spray? Here it is. So I'm excited to get, Pampered Chef has a spritzer where you can just put your own oil and it sprays for you. I, um, as a nurse, I there do some science, some research. Thank you, baby. Okay, freeze up this time. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. They have a spritzer that I'm going to put my own oil in, but... You know, a lot of the pan sprays have propellants in the ingredients, if you want to look. And this one just does not, avocado. You'll have to just look on the ingredients here. Um, this one, only ingredient is avocado. Um, so, here's my recipe. Oh, hold on, y'all. I got a message. I got to take this. I got to take this. All right. Thank you for waiting. Okay. So, anyways. What I was saying was the oil, you know, when you're greasing a pan, which this one does call for, and it did call for an 8x8, y'all, but I don't even think I have one of those, so I'm just going to spray this on here. Is this not charging close? All right, y'all, hopefully my battery lasts. Let me see what battery I got. Hold Anyways, I want to get that spritzer from Pampered Chef because then I can put my own oil in it, you know, buy it and save money because these are very expensive. So I uh, would like not to buy them again, but okay. So as we're waiting for the chicken, let me just see what it says. <clears throat> Jessica, you're so tech savvy. If anybody needs a techie... Um, if anybody needs, actually, if anybody needs a logo design, Alas Creative has it, has the best designer around town. All right, so here we go. Preheat the oven, check. Grease the casserole dish, check. Shredded chicken, mayonnaise, sour cream, and homemade pesto. What, my pesto is not homemade? No, no. What, hey, you want more chicken? Yeah, I like a lot. Okay, here you go. No, that's not a lot. That is a lot. No, it's not more. Oh, my God. I okay, like eat that. No, I like it more. Okay. Okay, there you go. Well, hey. At least my kids like my cooking. Once in a while. You know, I can't always get him to eat meat, so I'm always glad when he does. I'm never going to say no to him on that. So, anyways, I add a little extra garlic in here because I like me some garlic. Okay, let's see what it says for the pesto. I'm supposed to do, where's that at? Pesto, 3 fourth cup. So let's see that. I'm going to put this sour cream in here. So what do you think? Master Chef in the making. <laughs> What do you guys think I should uh, serve this uh, casserole with? I didn't realize it was a casserole. I've been calling it a lasagna. What do you think I should name it? Or what should we eat it with? I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Because it seems like it needs it. All right. So we need three-fourths cup. This is probably the whole thing, you guys. Yep. Yep, it is. I'm going to just put this whole thing. And thankfully, I have my mini skinny scraper. So... I didn't know. I thought it might be almost the whole thing, so. Just gets everything right out of there. I hate waste. Like I said, I hate wasting food that I paid for, especially. Um, so.
so. Oh, wait. You know what? I don't even know if I was supposed to do that, you guys. I'm getting all in here. Let's see. Okay, yes. Pesto, chicken, mayonnaise, and sour cream. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. So, I'll put that in there. Have any of you ever made pesto? Hey, Sharon. How you doing? Mom, I'm making a chicken pesto uh, casserole. Mmm. So it's got lots of cheesy goodness in here. All right, so there's my pesto in there. Now I'm going to add some of this quote unquote fresh pesto or fresh uh, basil. That's all they had at the store. So I'm gonna put a little bit in here. All right. I'll put my mayonnaise in here now. Like I said, I'm on keto. If I wasn't on keto, I'd probably cry looking at the content of fat in this dish so you could always modify it and do low fat mayonnaise although unfortunately the mayonnaise con limon I don't think comes low fat however the chicken would be healthy uh, mozzarella is generally a lower fat cheese you could use fat free sour cream you could even use like ricotta fat free or something like that so I think this is a modifiable recipe which is always good uh, but because I'm on my keto I can eat this all right so have that in there, I have my fresh garlic in there. And I'm just gonna mix this a little bit before I put the chicken in because I think it'll be easier because I have a lot of chicken. Mmm, smells good, y'all. Smells really good. DeAndre, did you share my video? He's my uh, agent, <laughs> now booking parties. All right, so I'm feeling like I want to put a little more garlic in here just because I love garlic, you guys. If you like garlic, smash that like button. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm going to just use my garlic press, and I don't even have to peel it. I just, this is a huge piece of garlic, though, guys. Just going to close this up here. Yum, it smells so good. And the peel just comes right out. Now, secret tip I learned doing these uh, videos, my viewers, my peeps, told me if I rinse my hands with cold water and this uh, garlic press that they won't smell like garlic anymore. So I'm gonna do that and it does work. No garlic smell, that's crazy. Try it if you don't believe me. Hey, Evie, how you doing? Hey, Angie. That's my girl. Okay, the cupcakes were the bomb, Angie. Yes, garlic is good for you. I cannot believe they smell nothing like garlic. I'm telling you, get this garlic press, try it. It works. I'm not even lying. I'm not even kidding. Um, Angie made some cupcakes for Mother's Day and chocolate covered strawberries so next time angie next holiday which would be what father's day or even memorial day please take me in it ahead of time so i can share with my friends because some of you know some of your stuff is already sold out which is great for you but i want my friends to have like you know first dibs on ordering so okay all right so i have this i'm going to add this chicken that i have right now already because this other chicken breast that i had to make because my son was eating all my chicken which I can't be mad at, you know. Kids need the protein and it's chicken. You know, I'd rather him eat chicken than like junk food, you know. Woo, lots of chicken in here, people. All right. So I'm just gonna mix all this up. Ooh, smells good, you guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. Ew. All right, now, let me see if this other chicken is ready because I had to make another one. I think it is. DeAndre, do you want part of this grilled chicken just for yourself? Huh, you can because you know what? I don't think I need all of this chicken. I'm just gonna leave it on for a little bit longer. I think it needs, it was just a really thick piece of chicken. 
I'm just gonna let it cook for a few more minutes. Okay, so let's see what's next. All right, so I'm making chicken parmesan. What's it called again, Jessica, girl? Chicken parmesan pesto casserole. Okay, so add this all up. Put one cup shredded mozzarella and half Daddy, cup of parmesan. You do. Oh my goodness! Go show Daddy. Go show Daddy. I want more. I like that. You like that? Oh, I'm cooking some more. It's on the stove. Or actually, here's some. This looks like it's done, honey. But it's very hot. Are you sure you want it right now? Yeah. I I eat hot when I'm in. Okay, yeah. put this in your cup. Okay, careful. Blow on it. Go blow on it. My family's gonna love me even more. Why? With more cheese? Okay, so it says to stir in one cup shredded and one half cup Parmesan. So I didn't get the Parmesan because I feel like, I think it's more expensive. I just got the Italian blend, so I'm gonna just do this. It says one half cup. Round up a little bit. Put that in there. And then I'm gonna do the mozzarella, which I do buy in bulk because we eat it a lot. Well, actually, I eat it probably a little bit more because of my keto, which I'm down 25. Feeling good about that. So this says uh, one cup. All right. There's that. Okay. I think this chicken's almost done. I want to get it in here. Should it be done? Where are my, here they go. I'm making a mess, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna uh, use my salad chopper and chop up this chicken here. Which I love my salad chopper. And it has like a little scoopy on one side, so now let me do it in here so I can not get it all messy with the sauce. Um, love my salad chopper. If you didn't know, now you know, because I love it and I use it every day. Okay. All right, this is done. I'm gonna chop up the rest of my chicken. And you know what? It's so nice to have this handle. I don't, it's not hot at all. And just chop it up right here. I don't have to dirty any more like dishes or anything like that. Okay. All right. All right, I think we're good. Maybe a little bit more. I'm always one of those people like maybe just a little bit more. I don't want to, you know, I I can't stand running out of food, which is probably a problem I need to explore. But <laughs> I want everybody to be able to get what they want to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I roll. Ask my friends if you've been to one of my parties, I never skimp on the food because uh-uh, you are not running out of food at a grant party, right, DeAndre? Comment in the comments. <laughs> We do not like running out of food here. I want to make sure everybody, you know, I think that's just the hostess in me. You know, you want to make sure everybody's fed. Congratulations on what? Oh, 25 pounds. Yeah, I forgot. I'm like, what is she saying congratulations for? Woo, this casserole is about to be delicious. It smells so good, you guys. Wish we had smell -o vision All right, so now, all right. Two eggs. Now it says to stir in the egg. Oh, add a, some black pepper, fresh crushed. Well, guess what? Our pepper grinder broke, so Pampered Chef, we're going to have to buy one because the one that we had before, I don't know, I think we got it from Target. It did not last very long. So I'm going to have to use just regular pepper. Uh, all right. So where is it, though? Walmart pepper. <laughs> You guys, oh my gosh, this big part was open. Holy crap! I thought that only happens in the movies. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to take some of this off. Oh my gatos! Here, there's your chicken. Here. Oh my gosh, he ate like a whole chicken breast. Oh my gosh, all this pepper, you guys. I'm gonna. <laughs> there's your comic relief for the day. 
I didn't mean to use that much pepper. That big piece, see, that's why I need a pepper grinder. Now I just justified my purchase because that was not good that I've spilt all that pepper. Thank God it wasn't salt. Can you imagine? I hate to waste chicken, but I'm not gonna have my dish ruined. Okay, I think I got good enough. All right. Ay, 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 people. Okay. Let me just scrape this a little bit cleaner in here, and then I'm gonna put my eggs in. Should I put three eggs or two? What do you guys think since I added extra stuff? I'm kind of going back and forth on that. Let me know in the comments. Okay, this is done. This is for sure done. Okay, should I add another egg? Two or three? <coughs> I'm gonna add three, you know what? Because I'm gonna add one more. All right, guys, I got my eggs. I'm going to, like, mix them up a little bit before I put them in here because I just, I can't stand egg particle. Like, I don't know. I don't want to know that there's egg in there. Does that make sense? Okay. Oi, get out of there. So... So these measuring cups are plastic and the measuring or in the mixer bowl is glass. So that's why I had to use that. Dude, Roman ate like a whole chicken, like huge chicken. That is so funny. All right, so I'm just going to mix these eggs up a little bit and it says to stir in the eggs and mix until combined well. Layer the chicken on the bottom, sprinkle with cheese and Parmesan. Layer, oh, okay, it's just one layer of cheese. Okay, then I can do that. Oh, I spilled a little egg there. So, all right, guys, here we go. Mix this all up. Woo, smells really good, you guys. Okay, mix it up. Dude, that chicken went. That chicken was eaten up by that little boy. Okay, mixing this all up. Woo, smells really good, you guys. It's super creamy. Woo, heavy too. Okay. All right, so next, this is a towel I'm gonna have to get rid of. So next what I'm gonna do is put it in my dish, which I told you, I don't even think I have an eight by eight dish that's on my list. I got a lot of things on my list. So I'm gonna put this, I already greased the pan. I'm gonna put this in here, and then it just says to put some mozzarella cheese on it. Doesn't that look good? Thanks, Jessica. All right, guys. Look at look at this spatula. It just really, really does a nice job. <laughs> All right. Woo! I'm glad I did. Can you imagine putting this in an uh, eight by eight? I don't know if you guys can see this. So, mom, looks like you're gonna have to come over and get some. <laughs> Unless my children and my husband eat it all, I'll keep you posted on what they think. That's chicken in it. Yep. <laughs> no? Need some of the chicken. Oh man. Chicken ain't meat, is it y'all? Is it really? I thought it was like poultry. Some people, some, some vegetarians, um, you know, I don't know the terminology. Some people just choose not to eat red meat, you know. All right. Well, I'm cardi. I'm fine, damn. Be that way. All right. So now I'm going to put my cheese. Huh? Those are pine nuts. So I toasted some pine nuts and burnt some pine nuts. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. i sprinkle some of this cheese on top. I know. So sprinkle with cheese and 
bake for 20 minutes. Mm. Uh -oh, the chicken's go. all gone, baby. Here you here ate it all. Here you come, all the chicken. Mine. He ate it. Can you put this in the garbage, honey? There's no chicken, buddy. No, I'm no, no, no. You want more? It's in this. It's in this casserole. <laughs> There ain't no more. Here, put this in the garbage for mommy. I want more. Can you put this in the garbage? I want more. He wants more. Hey, well, that's always, you know, I hate running out of food. Now, I know this doesn't happen very often in my life. All right. I want more. More. You do. Well, now you gotta wait. Now you gotta wait. It's gonna cook for just 20 minutes, so that's, that's nice. Uh -huh. That's what he's See, these kids, it's nap time, y'all. Oh, All right, so now I'm going to put a little bit of more mozzarella on here. Like I said, I buy it in bulk. So, what would you eat with this dish, you guys? It's a casserole, so what would you eat on the side with it? Let me know, because I don't know what I'm going to do yet either. Cauliflower, that might be good. Yeah, good idea, DeAndre. Mm -hmm. Or mixed veggies, yep. I feel like it's a glorified artichoke dip. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put a nice lot of cheese. I feel like Paula Dean. <laughs> but she ain't on keto, you know? So that's what they're wearing. All right, guys. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 20 minutes. I know, Jessica, I need a nap time too. That's what I'm saying. Nap time for everybody. Mom, dad, kids, everybody. All right, so I'm going to pop this in the oven, and I'm not going to make you wait 20 minutes with me, but I will post the finished product in on my page with the recipe. Be sure to hit subscribe and like, like my Facebook page, like my YouTube channel. Share with your friends. If you want to party, let me know. I can help you get lots of free goodies. Let me tell you, I make it very clear. My goal is for my hostess to have amazing parties so they get free stuff um, and free uh, and lots of good coupons and goodies. So that's my goal. All right, guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Oh, broccoli. Angie, see? Angie's good with this stuff. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.